SAC chairman of Tata, Cyrus Mistry, has literally dropped a letter bomb on the corporate group and Ratan Tata. In a letter to the board, Mr. Mistry mis minced no words, saying he had been reduced to a lame duck chairman with constant intervention by Ratan Tata. He warned ominously that five Tata businesses face up to $18 billion, that's around 1.2 lakh crore rupees, loss of value. Adding that an audit recently of a Ratan Tata backed venture with Air Asia had found fraud of around 22 crore rupees. Mr. Mistry also attacked the board and its directors for his sacking, saying to replace a chairman without offering a chance to explain must be unique in the annals of corporate history. Cyrus Mistry made his familiar, unassuming entry into Tata headquarters in Mumbai. But it's clear the low-profile executive has finally decided to hit back in a hard-hitting letter written to members of the Tata board, the same board that removed him. He blamed interference by Ratan Tata as the main reason that blocked him from turning around Tata's ailing businesses. In the letter, he said, five Tata companies face $18 billion in write-downs. He also said Ratan Tata pushed for his tie-up with AirAsia despite his pushback and that the recent audit of AirAsia found fraudulent transactions of Rs 22 crore. He also wrote, prior to his appointment as Tata chairman, he was assured a free hand. Ratan Tata was to step back and give advice when needed. After his appointment, the rules were modified by the Tatas. He said, inappropriate intervention by Ratan Tata followed. An intervention by Ratan Tata constrained his ability to turn around. He also said he was pushed into becoming a lame duck chairman. Mistry also blamed his predecessor for entering into unviable deals that hurt the business, saying it was Ratan Tata's attachment to some of them that prevented him from streamlining the company, even hinting at conflict of interest. He further said, emotional reasons have kept us from closing down the nano project. The nano project supplies equipment to a company Ratan Tata has a stake in. He said board members left during meetings to take instructions from Tata. He also said this behaviour created a risk of violating insider trading norms. The Tatas have refused to comment, but lawyers for the Tatas have said Mistri's charges are baseless. This is uh, the unfortunate case of a board collectively losing confidence in its chairman. That kind of a procedure requires absolutely no other procedure, no mandatory notice, no such thing. This is simply keeping Mr. Mistry on as a director. It is only changing the chairman of the company, which the board on a collective decision can do and has done. Now, finally, the Mistry camp is breaking its silence. I think even the Tata Speaking to NDTV, Supriya Sule, a close personal friend of Mistry, said she was saddened at the manner of his removal and that he had given up his personal life for the Tatas. I think it's really been very, very an unfortunate incidence that uh, for a man of integrity, today who keeps such a low profile, is such a simple, humble man who actually was quietly running his own business and successfully is an exceptionally hardworking man, got this very high profile job and even after getting such a high profile job, he kept a very, very low profile. He was very hardworking, very focused. He gave up his entire family time, family business and really tried to put his best foot forward by keeping a low profile. So it's really very, very unfortunate for me personally what has happened. For now, Misri's lawyers say they have no plans of challenging his removal in court. The battle for the moment is being fought in the court of public opinion. With Srinivasan Jain and Santhya in Mumbai, Ketki Angre for NDTV.